Um, now to Robin Shelton at Woodville High School with the Roaring Panzers Chemistry Show. Okay, now can you hear me? <laughs> yes, we can. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> um, I had big plans for this project. Um, it was going to be the Roaring Panthers Chemistry Show, and we were going to have an assembly for the first through sixth graders and do various little booths, that kind of thing. Uh, but with all of the restrictions this year, that was not a possibility, so we kind of had to change our direction. But um, if you'll go to the next slide, I'll start with the overview. Okay, my 11th grade chemistry students um, have issues a lot of times relating uh, chemical reactions and stoichiometry to what actually occurs in real life. So I thought to make them kind of be able to see what was going on, we needed to expand our uh, chemical and laboratory equipment inventory uh, for, for them to be able to do this. Um, we are a Title I school. We're in a rural area. It's a K through 12 school, under 500 total. Uh, not a lot of money coming in, and uh, our lab was to say the least, the chemistry side of it was in poor shape. <laughs> and we'll just leave it at that. Uh, so anyway, that was kind of, it was a combination of to get equipment for the kids plus for them to be able to share what they learn and to be able to actually have more of a true high school chemistry lab experience. Um, also, uh, another thing was uh, myself and the students assisting the elementary teachers into bringing science uh, topics into their class. A lot of our elementary teachers sometimes struggle with that, and we thought that this would help them. Next slide, please. Um, we also did uh, several things that actually related how chemistry uh, relates to our everyday lives. And as I said, the, the grant purchased lab equipment and uh, they were able to do lab uh, activities that show, uh, demonstrated how chemistry can actually take them into a future career. Next slide, please. Um, how we kind of revamped the program, um, we, instead of being able to do the large assembly, we visited the different elementary classes and presented those age-friendly science lessons and did their cool science tricks that they would be doing in the uh, large assembly for the show. Next slide. Uh, the success of the project, I, I could really tell my kids were a lot more engaged this year. Uh, as I said, our our lab was in really bad shape, and we were able to get several just dire necessities with this grant. Uh, over 70% of the grant was spent for lab equipment that these kids are going to get used out of for many years as long as, you know, we take care of it. And, you know, a beaker here and there will have to be replaced. But... <laughs> The big stuff where we're going to be in much better shape. Um, they had, they also had the opportunity to be able to show what they had learned, and uh, it allowed them to take a little more ownership in their learning and uh, make it a little more meaningful. And they, they really, I can tell the total difference in in grasping this unit this time. Uh, they really. Uh, with all of the hands-on activities that really help them understand. Um, that also goes into the next of how uh, success was measured. Uh, the grades on their units were much, much higher this year. Uh, they were more excited about class. It was constantly, what are we doing tomorrow? Are we going to blow something up? You know, typical high school uh, boys and everything. But uh, the, the student engagement and participation was greater than in years past, and uh, their laboratory write-ups, some of them were absolutely phenomenal. Uh, next slide, please. Um, I've kind of already addressed this, but as we've all <laughs> discussed, COVID-19 was a definite problem for all of us. 
Um, it wasn't as easy to work in groups. We had to take uh, further precautions, uh, more sterilization processes, things like that. Um, we also utilized, um, I mean, of course, you're going to have the protection of your lab gloves and things like that. So we, we had it a little better on those aspects. Um, the large assemblies were frowned upon, so instead of doing that, we had to, you know, revamp things. and. Also, another hurdle that we had to uh, go through, we were from August until now face-to-face, -face, but as some of them said, in the beginning we had a huge virtual um, uh, population with our students, and uh, then also if uh, quarantines and exposures, sickness, all of that, so, you know, you had several days you'd have to play catch-up, and then we had an, a longer range of state testing because of all of the precautions this year. So we had to be really flexible and willing to reschedule. And uh, matter of fact, I think there's one or two classrooms that we still have to visit. Um, but you know, we've we've still got that last month. Um, so if you will, next slide, please. Um, of course, uh, for the future utilization, as I said, 70% of the grant um, was spent on permanent lab equipment. I mean, granted, like I said, there'll be a beaker here and there. Um, the the um, students are going to be able to continue to use this equipment for years to come. Um, it has made their learning so much more relevant, um, and as I said, it really shocked me at how much the hands-on experience, even further than what they were getting, uh, really made them seem to grasp the material so much more. Um, it tied in uh, the various complex chemistry problems uh, to the real world. It gave them an opportunity to create uh, a lesson and to actually present it to younger students. Um, and it, it that's something we have to use forever. And it also provided us with more supplies and equipment that we can use for further labs and hopefully extend those chemicals and the different things that we need for next year. Next slide, please. Uh, these are some pictures. Uh, the ones with the smiley face, I had to download those off of a, a web page and they had blank the students' pictures out, so sorry about that. But um, it, it was just different times of them using the different things that we had purchased with the lab and were doing in the unit. Uh, honestly, uh, I, I didn't take a, an, an extensive amount of pictures because you know, students' chemicals can be disastrous. So <laughs> I, I was traveling the room more than I was taking pictures, if you will. Next slide, please. Um, the, the ultimate goals of the product, uh, project were to uh, give the students a more meaningful chemistry experience, which I can definitely say we accomplished. Um, it, I wanted to expose them to the various careers in STEM, um, give them the opportunity to actually present material that they learned and to make it into a lesson and share it with younger kids and, you know, just have some interaction with our high school and our elementary kids. Uh, the elementary kids always look up to the older kids and so I thought that would be a really good thing for our school and our students. Um, to also provide the students with more laboratory activities. Um, I mean, they got to do a minimal amount of labs and, I mean, it was stuff that I could do with easily attainable items and household things and things I could buy at the grocery store or Walmart. And uh, now that we have a few more beakers and things like that, we're going to be able to, to really do a lot more with our program this year, if we were, and next year and years to come. Uh, next slide, please. And as I said, the results uh, of it were really amazing. The students were more engaged, uh, their grades were better, uh, they gained that needed lab experience, and they were exposed to chemistry uh, more so than they ever had in the past. Uh, the elementary students were uh, exposed to little topics. I mean, of course, nothing extensive, but um, chemistry topics. And it also helps the elementary teachers um, 
find new topics and activities to use in their classrooms for the in, in the future. And I think that's the end. And I wanted to thank you guys. Uh, this gave my kiddos uh, an opportunity that they honestly would not have had. And I just really have to thank you again for giving us this opportunity.